Once again, no name attached to this one, but they want your thoughts on recent comments by Miro. <laughs> Says Miro's genius thoughts. I'm going to read you this. Okay. I don't care what you think about my gimmick. I don't care about any of these things because, quite honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I am the best man, man. You got to understand that I've been pushed down for way too long that, all of a sudden, for me to start listening to fans, or to not even fans, because those are not fans, those are just critics, because fans just enjoy what you give to them. Critics are completely different. I think what we have done, and it's not just the fault of wrestling, but just as a society, we want the quick turnaround right away, right then and there. We don't like waiting for episodes to come week to week. Wait a minute, what does this have to do with his shitty gimmick? We don't want to wait the 30 minutes. We don't want to even wait for the ads. We don't want to wait for 30 second ads because we just want the final product right then and there. I don't want to wait for ads. I don't want to wait 30 minutes. I don't want to wait 30 seconds. I want him to leave my television screen now. I will agree that, but with that. But once again, what does that have to do with his crummy, shitty gimmick? But if I had come to AEW and become champion on day one, <laughs> there are going to be 90 other million people who are going to be like, oh, well, look at this. He's just another former WWE guy coming in and taking the title. And look. We have Hangman hold Page. On, hold on. If he if he ever becomes AEW champion, there's going to be a lot of people going, "What the fuck is this?" We have Hangman Page and the Bucks, and everybody else is just waiting for their opportunity. End quote. What are your thoughts about the ponderings, or as it was put here, the genius thoughts of Miro? The meanderings of uh, English is his second language, so we will. We will assume that in his native tongue, in his head, what he said made any sense at all. And we'll give him the benefit of that doubt. I don't know what instant gratification has to do with the fact that he has a shitty gimmick. Are we saying that, or is he saying that we're supposed to wait and see how this plays out and they will explain why that he's been presented as a goof that dresses badly and, and plays video games? Uh, on the television program and suddenly sometime down the road he's going to become a serious wrestler and the Bulgarian brute again and we're going to forget about all this stuff? Or is he conflating the people who do have a short attention span, which that is true these days, with the people who laughed him out of the building for wearing a pink Minnie Mouse t-shirt on his debut with his cute little bleached blonde hairdo and his goddamn loafers he was wearing to where he looked like he just attended a, a Liberace event as Liberace stand in rather than the Bulgarian brute. I don't know what he's saying. Here's the thing. He's been held down according to him by the, uh, uh, obviously the WWE. It doesn't look like he was held down. Now it looks like he was held up. Because they got a lot more out of him than than uh, uh, chuckleheads over on the other channel are, haven't they? Did they have? Did the WWE have this idiot playing an unplugged in video game with his little sidekick Pip that they both got mad at because it was broken by the tag team of the Chuckle Fucks? No, I mean at the end they blew it with him and they really made him a pretty shitty character, but early on they got it right with him. It's just that, like until, everything with WWE... Until apparently his obnoxious personality, his stupid ideas, and his general all-around idiocy caused them to say, you know what? We don't feel like pushing this guy anymore. And then they made him look like a goof. Could that be it? There were certainly cases, and I think FTR fall into this, where the guys are smart, they know what they want, and they get frustrated in these meetings with Vince. And then after they leave, they do an interview and they talk a little bit about that. But I think people need to remember, not everyone who the WWE drops the ball with is FTR. And what I mean is, there are plenty of people who go to Vince and sit down with him and say, I'm not happy, here's my ideas, and they're terrible. Yes. Vince isn't the only one with terrible ideas. No. And sometimes two terrible ideas meet, and they cancel each other out. That's why Jericho was somewhat bearable for the last few years in his WWE run. But anyway, back to you. 
Back to you, Lance. Um, well, that's basically it. Is it, you can tell that this guy doesn't have the first fucking clue about. He's another one of these guys that's gotten the wrestling business that didn't get in the wrestling business first. He went straight to developmental. Did he not? Did I miss his long career on the independence? I don't know about a career in the independence, but I believe he actually comes out of was it Rakishi school? He had been trained by the Samoans. Okay, but if, if he didn't go. He didn't work events in front of people for any serious time if any time at all before he went into wwe's program point is it's hard enough to learn anything about the wrestling business these days working independence because of the quality of most of the independence but at least you've been in the wrestling business and at least maybe you've been around a few veterans that will tell you the truth instead of whatever the current NXT training line is. Uh, but this is another big muscle-headed goof that doesn't know what he's gotten into, probably was never a wrestling fan, or elsewise he'd know better about what it's supposed to look like and supposed to be presented like. And he doesn't know how to get himself over, and he got over because of his genetic gifts in the promotion that pushed him originally when he was new and unseen and that's the way they kind of liked him. And then they started changing shit around about him and he didn't really know how to take care of himself. And then he was less over and now he's gone to another company that where not only does now he not know how to take care of himself and get himself over, but nobody there knows either. So he's been putting middle card comedy shit, but he still thinks that he's a big wrestling star because he's been on a big TV and because people have told him he is. And he has no frame of reference about what the wrestling business is to know that he ain't as good as he thinks he is. So that's another one of these cases. And if he'd been through a an old-fashioned training program or a territory, he would have been taught from the start he didn't know anything about wrestling and he needs to shut up and do what he's told, and hopefully people who knew what the fuck they were doing would tell him, and then he might learn some from it. But I don't see a lot of places that he could have been to learn, and I don't see a lot of aptitude for him to learn, because you wouldn't have to do a lot of learning to know not to fucking show up smiling and playing video games wearing pink Minnie Mouse t-shirts and expect anybody to take you as a fucking top guy. So... There you go. Stick a fucking sock in that fucking Miro. Miro! I want to see Miro versus Riho. Well, you know, Miro is a big, strong guy. He obviously is in great shape. But maybe part of the problem is he's not getting enough nutrients in his diet. Vitamins, minerals. I don't think he's getting enough oxygen to his brain is what I think <laughs> his problem is. But folks, if everybody else... Would like to be in even, and also even better shape than Miro, because I bet his cardio is shit. He's carrying all that bulk around. Folks, if you want to stay in great shape and it be less filling, athletic greens. The winter months are coming. The days are getting shorter. Less time outside. We've got to supplement our vitamin D, especially to benefit our immune systems. At the same time, we don't want to make messes. We don't want to go out to the disease-ridden grocery store and get a whole bunch of produce and vitamins and meat and vegetables and minerals, the whole vitamin to vegemin thing. We don't want to buy those things. We don't want to come home. We don't want to stick them. We don't want to stick them in the blender and fling shit all over our kitchen walls. We don't want to throw the stuff in the sink and have to worry about cleaning it up later. None of that with athletic greens because, folks, They'll send you the mix, and you mix it up with water. As many as 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food-sourced ingredients, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more nutrient-dense formula on the market anywhere. It has a multivitamin, multimineral, greens complex, probiotic, prebiotic for gut health, an immunity formula, digestive enzymes, and all kinds of stuff. There's no need for multiple pills, complex routines, messy type of juicing just get your immune system support your gut health support your daily nutrition all in one clean and green mix and it tastes good too brian you know as well as i do that you can't just take it you'd rattle around like 
like a bean bag if you took all the vitamins in pill form that are contained in one delicious serving of athletic greens. I love athletic greens. I have it every day. In fact, I'll give some advice out there. I know a lot of people, they want to change up their lifestyle. They want to improve things. They want to invest in their lifestyle. Start your day with athletic greens like I do, like so many others do. You're guaranteed that you got the minerals and nutrients, and I add my vitamin D drops into it. To start the day, it helps you maintain the rest of the day when you know you started it so well. That's right. Start good, finish good. And folks, right now, Athletic Greens is giving our audience, the cult members, a special offer on top of the all-in-one formula we talked about, a free liquid vitamin D supplement with your first purchase for additional immune support. So, upgrade your multivitamin intake, nutritional formula that's going to help cover your daily nutritional bases. You want Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens makes getting as much high-quality nutrition as possible incredibly easy without the need to buy multiple products. And go right now to athleticgreens.com slash JCE and get a year's supply of vitamin D, liquid vitamin D, for free with your first purchase. Athleticgreens.com slash JCE. Get your virility. Get your immunity. Get your ability. Get everything up. Put a rock in your sock. Folks, Athletic Greens.